What's up, people? You have found the KO Report, and I'm Scott Killian. And today, well, today I've got a confession. I'm hooked on something. And by the end of this video, you will be too. Hit it! Growing up in the mountains, I've always been hooked on rides in the parkway. Whether it's me and the family or a solo ride on the motorcycle, you can't go wrong here. With breathtaking views like this and miles and miles of views, how could you not come to the Blue Ridge Mountains and get hooked on a site like this every day? I'm fortunate enough to call this home. We're on our way to Kristen's Hooked on Smoke, and I'm a fan of barbecue. I love, and in North Carolina, there's there's actually two styles of barbecue. The western side of the state, you get more of a tomato-based uh, barbecue sauce. On the eastern side, it's more of a vinegar-based. Um, Kristen seems to have a, a, a good medium there. Um, she used to have uh, a restaurant called Wind Pigs Fly, and uh, now she has the food truck. Uh, this this documentary interview and, and, and YouTube uh, review is over the grit and determination she has to keep her dreams alive and to feed the people of Ash County. I'm really looking forward to this and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to downtown West Jefferson. Founded in 1915 and home to North Carolina's only cheese manufacturing facility, Ash County Cheese. Life runs at a different pace here and around every corner you can find a piece of history. This is Parkway Cinemas, one of the oldest in North Carolina, still in operation. But what brought me to West Jefferson today was Kristen's Hooked on Smoke, where you'll get some of the best wings and barbecue Ash County has to offer. Let's check it out. All right, so today we're with Kristen and her food truck called Hooked on Smoke, and I'm excited. I've known Kristen for a few years now, and, and honestly, I get her wings at every Super Bowl party. Uh, Kristen you used to have a restaurant called Win Pigs Fly. I did. And so tell us about that. Um, in 2013, I was offered to take over Win Pigs Fly from Michael Loya. He said he was tired of seeing me work four and five jobs and he wanted me to have a fresh start. And I took it over in July the 24th. We were up there for a couple years. You know, we had Lowe's Food as our anchor store. We found out it was closing. Sales went down about 40% a month for a few months. We were really hurting being out of sight, out of mind, kind of really put a damper on our sales. And we decided to make the move. We decided to try and go to Jefferson after that. Um, we moved into where the junction used to be that had been there for decades. We started over, remodeled, went in, had a good time, had a real good business, things picked back up. Um, and then the landslide happened. So the whole back of the hill fell down. The town gave us a mandatory evacuation. We had four hours to get everything out of the building. The entire town pretty much shut down. Everybody came rushing in with trucks and started moving stuff and storage buildings. It was a community effort. And then we got up and back up about six weeks, I think it was later. And it was just financially hard. You know, you lose thousands of dollars. Landslides aren't covered by insurance in any shape or form because it's a God-made natural disaster. And then once we got started back up, um, then there were grease trap issues and different things going on with town and water. And we just, um, we didn't last much longer after that. I'd put in a good six, almost seven years and it had financially wore me down to want to just give up. Now, from there, you went to work at Shatley Springs? Yeah, Shatley Springs is a family-owned restaurant. It's been in the family since the day it opened, about 65 years. My cousin called. They were having a really hard time. She wanted me to come be the kitchen manager. I told her I would come and sell out that weekend if she would hire all my staff. That way, everybody got to keep a job. So she agreed. She took 
all of my staff, we went in, we took over Shatley, we changed the way things went, and it went really well. But when you work for family, it's not always what you want. And I was so used to being the boss, I didn't like having to ask people permission of what to do and how to handle it. So right. that after that season was over, I tried to find something different. Gotcha. And what got the idea of the food truck? Well, I've been looking online and seeing what was new and up and coming. And most towns and cities across the United States right now, food trucks are the number one thing. I mean, people can get up, it's quick and fast. They can see you preparing the food. And I thought, well, Ash County doesn't have like one of those at the time. And I said, um, let me look into this. And I found one that a, a friend, a mutual friend had for sale in Charleston. And I went down to cook on it and I absolutely fell in love with it. Cool, yeah. cool. So food trucks, they are, I, they are more prevalent. We yeah. have a couple down in Wilkes County where I live and uh, there's a JT's barbecue and, and a, a Pepe's taco, a few other things. So with this, you're mobile. You, you're set up now at the, the honey pot. Yeah, yeah, the honey hole, they the honey called hole. me. I've been feeding the lady, Shelly, that runs this, her and her husband, for years. They'd ate my food at different places for years and she said, I've never seen a mom work as hard as you do. She said, I'd like to give you a spot to set up so you've got a chance to start over. And I couldn't refuse it. It's right in the middle of downtown West Jefferson, across from the only theater. So, I mean, it was the absolute perfect location right. for me. Right. Do you do catering? Yes, we do catering. We set up. We've got weddings coming up. We're here right now four days a week until the virus is over and stuff like that. But um, we, we plan on going seven days a week pretty soon. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now, my favorite is your messed up wings. Yes. I can't find that anywhere else. If, no. I, if I go in, hey, I want some messed up wings. What are you talking about? Yeah. So how did you come up with this? Did you mess up something? And well, <laughs> it was an accident to begin with. The previous owner of When Pigs Fly had, had a cook one time that had messed up trying to make a sauce. Well, when I tasted it, it wasn't quite what I wanted to do, so I tweaked it when we first bought the restaurant. And um, we done a homemade creamy Italian dressing and we figured out a way to cook it to where it would caramelize the skin and then i come up with my house-made buffalo sauce my signature recipe and it just worked together i've won best wings in the county since 2013 because of those wow wings. Yeah. yeah and then your burgers you've yes. also won, I've won best burgers too. i won barbecue once i've won lunch i've won dinner when I was at Shatley, I won Best Breakfast, Best Home Cooking. I've took in a lot of the Best of Best awards. Well, it sounds like you know what you're doing. Yeah, well, it's kind of bred into me. <laughs> when your granny runs and operates Shatley Springs by herself for forever, you kind of learn to pick up on things. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Listen, come check out Kristen's Hooked on Smoke. I'm going to get something here, and we're going to give you a review on this. I'm sure with the years I've had with this, this is going to be a KO. It's well beyond okay. Stay tuned. Be sure to stop by Hooked on Smoke and look at the full menu options. There's more than barbecue and wings here. We're talking burgers, ribs, side items, and desserts. And remember, voted best by the people of Ash County. Kristen was gracious enough to give me some of her food. Um, we're gonna take a look at this, but I have my favorite messed up wings with ranch dressing. Some barbecue chicken and barbecue pork. Let's take a look at this. Phenomenal. And now my favorite. Finger licking, I'm telling you. My favorite. The messed up wings. cut here this is about to get messy contact Kristen and hooked on smoke at 336-977-0657 to cover any party or catering needs or follow her online at Kristen's hookedonsmoke.com you can follow her on both Facebook and Instagram